Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and this is another edition of Deb's Musings. Now, I have been missing for the last week or two. I have been fighting a virus, so I have been in the house, not going anywhere. Not to mention we've been snowed in and highways have been closed. But it got me to thinking, why are we rushing through life? I can remove myself for days on end. And you know what? The world keeps right on ticking, just like that Energizer Bunny. So I decided it's time to slow down and smell the roses. So please stay tuned and I'll share my thoughts. Why do we seem to rush through life as if we're racing to a finish line? We all know what the finish line is, right? We live in a hectic world teaching us that we must rush to get everything in, everything done, multitasking, popping from one task to another, never really being productive in the end. Life does not have to be this way. If we're looking for quality over quantity, we have to slow down. It's a much more effective way to achieve productive results. Rushing may produce more, but quality will suffer. There are many benefits to slowing down. Your focus is much clearer, allowing you to dig deeper, producing better results with fewer mistakes. You will find a new enjoyment for the tasks at hand and actually appreciate your efforts on a new level. With that comes a more relaxed self with less anxiety and stress that are common results when rushing. Change does not come easily to many of us. What we have to accept is that life will be much richer and fuller if we just slow down, taking time to enjoy each and every moment. How much do you enjoy a meal if you gobble your food down quickly rather than savoring each morsel? And so it is with life. Life is meant to be enjoyed as we savor each and every moment this alone is the most important reason to slow down. Slowing down isn't easy with time crunches, deadlines, schedules, and the list goes on. Many of us just don't think the demands put on us will allow us to slow down. But it's simply not true. It's a matter of changing your mindset. Cut your to-do list down to a manageable size, schedule fewer appointments, stop over committing yourself, take time out just for you, go for a walk, read a book, disconnect your cell phone, just take a breather. Believe it or not, the world will continue to survive even if you remove yourself for an hour, an afternoon, or even an entire day. Practice mindfulness by eliminating the unnecessary and live for the present rather than the future. Take control of your time, slowing down and enjoying your life moment by moment. Think of it this way. Every single moment we pass through will never come again. So let's make each one count. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.